outset, I would like to wish you all a very meaningful and a lovely Valentine's Day. Love definitely has different definitions for everyone, for each one of us, I can say. Same way, David Graham, a soldier, was returning home after the end of the Vietnam War. He was very happy. He called up his parents and said, Mom, Dad, I'm going to be back home. But I want to ask you a favor. Yes, go ahead, he said. I would be coming home with a friend and he would be living with us. Sure, that's great. You would like to meet him, they said. But listen, I've got something to tell about him. <clears throat> On the fierce battlefield, he happened to step on a landmine and the consequence he lost one arm and one leg. He was silenced for a moment and but I want he's got nobody to go to and I want him to come home and stay with us. There was a long pause between both the parties and then the father said Son, do you know the consequences of it? A person with such a big handicap will be a real burden to us. We have our own life to take care of. And where are you creating more problems for us? We just forget about him for some time. Maybe in some time he will be able to take care of himself. And again, there was a silence between both the parties. And that's the time David just hung up the phone and kept it down. A few days, there was no conversation between both the parent and the son. On a morning, the parents receive a call from the San Francisco <coughs> Police Department. And they said, this is the police department in San Francisco. Your son passed away after he fell from a building. And as for the police report, it came to know it's a case of suicide. The shocked parents couldn't think of anything else but just rushed to San Francisco. And when they reached there, they were taken to the city mall to identify his body. And when they pulled the drawer and he saw them, the parents saw, they recognized the body. But to the shock and horror, they found him. And they discovered that he had only one arm and one leg. Ladies and gentlemen, we are sometimes so similar to this story of these parents, how they faced the situation. We forget how to deal with persons we are always happy with persons who are both handsome, who are more, more fun-loving, and we enjoy their company. At the same time, we do not like to be with persons who, are, make us, who make us uncomfortable, who are in a very difficult situation, because we always try to shun away and keep ourselves from people who are not very smart, healthy, and beautiful. But remember, there is a being above who loves each one of us in spite of our shortcomings, in spite of the mess that we are always in. We are living in a globalized economy where everything is commodified and tagged with a price tag, where even today love is marketed and showcased. It's very a very awkward situation that we are moving into. But then, just a moment to introspect. Do we need somebody to remind us the birthdays, anniversaries, the Father's Day, the Mother's Day? Or are we so tongue-tied that we have no guts to greet each other with a smile? Or say those three little words, I'm sorry, or I just love you. 
Just take this moment and extend your hand to the person sitting next to you and tell him, if I've done wrong, I'm sorry about it. You have got a wonderful tie. You got a wonderful smile. Try doing that. Just see that and see how you feel it. Please do it. <laughs> Yeah, thank you friends. Didn't you feel the warmth and the vibe moving this room? Yes, 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 yes. Yes, didn't you? And what yeah, can you do? Don't you take smile like that? See, we need not do... We are living in a virtual world, but we are slowly trying to cut ourselves from the human relationship. We do not need gadgets to remind us or we don't have to do with the single-handed punches and send SMSs, which doesn't mean anything. What I mean to say is, we cannot be perfect like God, but we can attempt to be perfect by just extending or taking that first step to extend ourselves to our, to our fellow beings with love and compassion in such a way that we put ourselves one notch above every time we do that. So that when we do that, we are setting an example which will win us all round adulation. But to take this meeting forward, we have a person who is a star by himself and then the word adulation just fits him to the T. Now to the list of achievements, I'll have to read out. This person <coughs> was the president of this elite club for two terms. He was the first district governor for District 82, the first regional advisor, the first brand ambassador, past district chief judge, and he's got a passion for training students, and he has done a lot of training sessions in St. Joseph's and many other schools. But apart from this, when I spoke to him, I said, what is it that is so special today as Valentine's Day you find? He first said, told me that I always like to jump in and out of love, never to fall in love. <laughs> Because of that, I'm really. He gave a testimony. Because of that, I have been happy. Yeah, testimony. Same. Because of this, I'm happily married for the last 27 years. Jumping, 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 jumping. But never falling. Ladies and gentlemen, without further ado, please help me welcome the Toastmaster of the day, John Bosco Abraham. Dear John, how I hate to write, dear John, let me make it clear tonight that my love for you has died away. I can't sit on you long, for tonight I wed another, dear John. Hello, Toastmasters.